Section 6.2 Operations with Matrices In the previous section we introduced matrices, what they are uh, We talked about their dimensions and then we introduced the row operations So we use introduce row operations and we showed you how we use row operations to solve a system of equations In this section we're gonna do some more operations with matrices involving addition and subtraction, addition, subtraction, and scalar multiplication. We call it. And then at the end, we're gonna see um, what do we mean or what do we have when we have two equal matrices. What does it mean and how do we apply them? So to start with this, I'm gonna recall if we have a matrix. Let's say matrix A. Uh, B, C, D, E, F, let's say. This is a two rows by three columns matrix. So we call it two by three matrix. So what we need to apply here is if they give us uh, two different matrices, say two, four, three, five, and they ask us to add it to another matrix, four, negative one, six, zero. Before we learn how to add these matrices, the first thing, and it's very important to know, that we can only add matrices if they have the same rows and same columns. Same rows and same columns. It could be like a, a test problem or question, true or false, can I add 2 by 3 matrix to 4 by 6 matrix? The answer is no. They have to have the same dimensions. This is a 2 by 2 and that's 2 by 2. The dimensions match exactly the same way. 2 by 3, 2 by 3, or 2 by 2, 2 by 2, 5, 1, 5, 1. As long as they match, then we can add them. And how do we add the matrices? Well, this is how it goes. It's not difficult. The answer will be will turn out to be exactly 2 by 2. If it starts 3 by 3, 3 by 3. What? How do I find the entries or the elements inside? You add the first one from the first matrix to the first one from the second matrix. So that gives us 6. You add the next one, 3 and... 6, that's a 9. You add the next one, 4, and negative 1, that's 3. And then we add the last one with the last one that gives us 5. It's a very easy, straightforward process to add matrices like this. Uh, the question can be asked in a slightly different way. They can ask us to find the sum A plus B if matrix A has entries 4, negative 2, 7, 8, and matrix B has entries 5, 6, negative 1, 0. Okay, so how do we add the matrices? Well, A plus B is, this is A, and this is B, 5, 6, negative 1, 0. So let's see what we get. 4 plus 5 is 9. 7 plus negative 1 is 6, negative 2 plus 6 is 4, and 8 plus 0, 8. Very easy process. Let's look at another example. Find, again, A plus B. If, let's say, A is given as negative 0 0.2, through some decimals there, 5, 1.8, and B is 3.2, negative 1, and 0 0.2, like that. Notice this is 3 by 1 and the other one 3 by 1. So again, the answer must end up with 3 by 1 matrix when we add them. If we add 2 or more, the same thing. So A plus B is going to be, you add the first one with the first one. So negative 0 0.2 plus 3.2 then 5 plus negative 1 and 1 1.8 plus 0 0.2. Make sure you simplify this. The first one gives me 3, then 4, then 2. Notice how it's a 3 by, uh, 3, by um, 3 rows by 1 column. How about subtraction? Well, subtraction works the same way. So if you're asked to subtract two matrices, say, 5, negative 1, minus negative 3 and 8. So how do we subtract something like this? Same thing, same idea. You take 5 minus negative 3. So 5, if you want to write it down, 5 minus negative 3, and negative 1 minus 8. 
So that gives us 8 and negative 9. 8 and negative 9. Now, what about if we have scalar multiplication? Say I have a 3 and I need to multiply it by the matrix negative 1, 5, 1 third, 0. How do I multiply the 3 by uh, this matrix? We multiply the 3 to each entry inside, regardless. If it's 2 by 2, 3 by 3, 5 by 5 matrix, so 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, 3 times 1 third is 1, 3 times 5 15, 3 times 0 is 0. So you must multiply the scalar 3 by each entry inside that matrix. And to make it fun, let's apply everything we learned today about this. Let's say we have 2 times uh, 1 fourth, 1 third, these two entries, plus 3 times 1 fourth, 1 sixth. So we threw some fractions in there. So how do we multiply that out? Well, you multiply the 2 first by this. 2 times 1 fourth is 2 over 4, 2 over 3. Plus, multiply the 3 in, 3 over 4 and 3 over 6. So then what we get? 2 over 4 plus 3 over 4. 2 over 3 plus 3 over 6. And then what we get here? On the top we get 5 over 4, it's done. But the denominator for the other one, they do not match. They they do not have the same denominator. So the LCD is 6. So I need to multiply this by 2 and the top by 2. So that gives us same denominator 6 and on the top 4 plus 3, 7. So I like to put the sign in the middle. So that would be the answer uh, for such an operation. What about if we have more than one matrix? So let's say uh, they ask us to perform the operation 2, negative A, I'm not putting numbers in there, B, C, minus negative 3A, 4B, minus C, or negative C, minus 6A, minus B, 2C. Now, how do we perform this operation? The first step, the first step is to multiply the 2 in. So multiply the 2 in, you get negative 2a, 2b, 2c. Keep this the same. Uh, if you like, you know, uh, and just in case if you see it somewhere, this negative, you can make it positive by basically multiplying every entry inside by negative. So multiply by negative 1 to get this. And then here you can multiply by negative 6, so that turned out to be positive. So negative 6a, 6b, minus 12c. And that makes all the operation look positive, uh, which will become easier to, to deal with. And now what we're going to do here is add the entries, all the entries on the top. Or you can do the first two together and then whatever you get with the last one. Or you can go straight forward, add the top one. So you add this to this, so this plus this plus this first. So that gives us negative 2a plus 3a minus 6a. Now we do the next one. This one plus this one plus this one. So 2b plus negative 4b plus 6b. And the same thing for the last row. 2c plus c plus negative 12c. Now what do we get on the top? here. The first one is a minus 6a, negative 5a. 2b minus 4b is negative 2b, 4b. And the last one, 3c minus 12c, that's negative 9c. And that would be the answer in a simplified form. We can simplify more and we do not need actually to simplify more. More than that, there's no way to simplify more. Let's look at uh, another example. A is given negative 2, 6, 1, negative 1. B is given 0, negative 3, 5, 4. Let's say we are asked to perform or find first part 2 times A minus B. 
and be our matrices. So there's so many ways to do this. The first method that I like to do or 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 apply is keep the keep the two out for now. Uh, matrix A, write it down as given, minus matrix B, 0, 5, negative 3, 4. And put the parentheses. Keep the 2 until the end. Here I'm going to combine these two matrices. Negative 2 minus 0 is negative 2. Maybe I don't need that parentheses anymore, just I know it's a multiplication. 6 minus negative 3, that's a positive 3. 1 minus 5, negative 4. Negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5. And then as a final step, I multiply the 2 in. Negative 4, negative 8, 6, negative 10. Let's add another part to it. What about negative B minus 2A? We need to perform this operation. Okay, so B, B was... 0, negative 3, 5, 4. 0, negative 3, 5, 4. Minus 2. A was negative 2, 6, 1, negative 1. Negative 2, 6, 1, negative 1. And now what I see here, I see first the negative sign out there. I'm going to multiply it. 0, 3, negative 5, negative 4. And as I said before, if you like, you can multiply the 2 in or negative 2 in. Let's try negative 2 in. So that will make it positive. 4, negative 12, negative 2, and 2. Then 0 plus 4, 4. 3 plus negative 12, negative 9. Negative 5 plus negative 2 is negative 7. And negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. That would be the answer to this one. So that's how we perform operations on matrices, including addition, subtraction, and scalar multiplication. In the later sections, we're going to learn how to multiply matrices by each other. Now we introduce a definition. We say two matrices are equal. Two matrices are equal. If they have the same size, like 2 by 2, 3 by 4, 5 by 7, that's the same size, that's the size of the matrix, and the corresponding entries are equal. That tells me that the two matrices are equal. How do we apply it? Let's say find x, y, and z. If x, 3, 2, z plus 1, this matrix is given, actually given, equal to the matrix 1, 3, y plus 1, 2z minus 1. So how do we apply them? Well, they have the same size, 2 by 2. Each one of them is 2 by 2 matrix. They have the same size. And now, because they are equal, they're given equal, they have to have the same entries. So this should equal to this. First one must equal to that one. That's what corresponding, uh, corresponding entries mean. So x equals 1 done for x. This one here must equal this one. So 2 must equal to y plus 1. If you subtract 1 on both sides, that gives me y. This one here and this are the same. I don't have to do anything with that. The last one is the z plus 1 equals 2z minus 1. So um, subtract z on both sides, add 1 to both sides. So that gives me the z value. And that's what I was required to do find x, y, and z. Okay. Another example on this or application of this. Set up a system of equations. 
because we're going to be using use this later on and solve provided what the matrix x minus 3 y 2 x plus y equals the matrix 1 negative 5 notice this is one entry this is one entry not two entries one entry so x minus 3y these two matrices are equal if and only if the x minus 3y is 1 and 2x plus y is negative 5 that's a system of equations they asked me to to set up and now they want us to solve this now can I solve with matrices yes you can it didn't specify you must use matrices if not specified using matrices it's really easy to solve it with elimination so we can multiply if I want to eliminate the y's multiply this entire equation by 3 always keep the first equation the same here although no changes but I still keep it so this way the steps are organized 3 times 2 is 6x 3y equals negative 15 these cancel so you get 7x equals negative 14 x equals negative 2 I got x now I can substitute into let's say the second equation the 2x plus y equals negative 5 I need to solve for y so substitute the x negative 2 plus y equals negative 5 so negative 4 plus y equals negative 5 so y is going to be negative 1 okay so we got x and y that's what exactly we need we the, the question said set up a system of equations and solve so to wrap this section up we learned how to perform addition subtraction and scalar multiplications of matrices two by like two matrices or more you can do it that way or say it that way and then we learned about equal matrices two matrices are equal if if they have the same size and the entries are corresponding entries are equal and then we notice how we use that fact here or that definition here to set up a system of equations and solve for it and this will be um, really important for uh, later sections to learn how to set up system of equations and solve.